What up, FBF Squad? It's me, Jacquez, aka Fat Belly Fella, and I'm back. What's up, you guys? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Listen, I know we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. But first, we're going to get into this food because your boy is hungry. We got some cucumbers and rice. Yeah, yeah. Corn on the cob. Yeah, yeah. And some sausage and shrimp. Yeah, yeah. Say our prayers are going to get into this food. <laughs> Okay, so yes, 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 y'all. I am back. I am back. I am back. We got Junior over here on the side with some ice cold, refreshing water. I want to say cheers to you guys for being the best. <laughs> FBF squad, y'all are the best. Y'all the best. I appreciate y'all for checking up on me and all that stuff. Even though every time I disappear, don't necessarily mean something is wrong every single time, even though in this case it was. But like I said, we're going to get into that later. Cheers, cheers. cheers. Uh, yes. So, we have some jasmine rice. Yes, that's butter, because, baby, I ain't having it. I have to have some kind of something on my rice. And we have some cucumbers, and we have some, um, what are those sausages called again? And we have some kielbasa sausage, and we have some shrimp, and some corn on the cob, y'all. I'm ready to get into this, and we have some sauce on the back. Matter of fact, I'm going to start off with this corn on the cob first, just to get it out the way. Happy Monday, you guys. I'm going to do a little bit of eating first, a little bit of eating first, this is going to get real, hold on, you get something to protect myself first, because I already see it coming, I already see it coming, okay, matter of fact, and I got my spoon back here in the back too, I'm going to put you up here, ooh, Baby, she is good, and that is on period. I had to do this, y'all. I had to. I had to. I had to. I had to. I've never had cabelsa sausage, and I don't, know if, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, to be honest with you. But I've never had it before. It's good. I prefer my sauces that I usually have. Because it has spice to it. So. Things to be better. Mm -hmm. Y'all, 
Happy Monday. I've been missing y'all so much, man. I don't know. The devil is busy. He is busy. <clears throat> I hope that you guys are enjoying your Monday thus far. The weather is changing. It's getting beautiful. Hmm. Oh my gosh, it's getting beautiful. Yesterday was 61 degrees. 62, I think. Hmm. And it was everything. Even though I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> but... To just see the, the sunshine and just, man, Chicago is beautiful in the summer. Beautiful in the summer. Try my best. I'm trying. Listen, this is gonna be my vow, you guys. I'm trying my best to not pay attention to my phone when I'm recording because it distracts me. So, mm. While I thought this was gonna be hard to get back to because I've been gone for a week. Hmm. I've been gone for a whole week. But y'all, I have reason. <laughs> hmm. Corn so sweet. <clears throat> How'd you get to be so sweet? Actually, that's amazing. I don't know how much I'm going to finish with this, but we're going to do a little bit of damage. I know that. Y'all, I miss y'all, man. It's like a part of me be feeling guilty and then another part of me be like, bitch, you need to do this for you. You need time for yourself sometimes. Because if you don't, it's going to be all bad. But, in this particular situation as to why I was going for the past five days is just something that was beyond my control. So, I ain't gonna hold your story for too much longer because I know y'all don't stand to, you know, just for your little nine minutes of the video. And we about there right now, so. 
Anyway. Mm. So, me and my mom were like <clears throat> doing our little son mother thing, the shopping, retail therapy. <laughs> we do that, you know. And she's been talking about getting tacos all day long. And so, you know, I mean, we have this taco joint that we go to that we actually like. It's one that my brother introduced us to. And it's really, I mean, the tacos are like, tacos are grade A. But my mom likes to go to this particular restaurant for her tacos. <laughs> and we never, you know, it's never been a thing. It's never been a thing, but, you know. They cool, you know, they they I they, it would be my first go to uh, to get tacos and y'all know I love me some tacos, so excuse me. So hot. It's hot. So we went to go. Do our little thing, you know, a little retail therapy, which could take all day <laughs> with us. It could literally take all day. So, before we knew it, I mean, time had gone by, and then we were just like, wait, we both hungry at this point. We ended up going to get tacos on our way home, okay? On our way home. Now, this place particularly is not the one that we usually go to to get our tacos that we would go to this restaurant. But because it was on the way home, we went there and got some. Because you don't think like, hey, you got multiple businesses, you think that the business is the same every location. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We go in, we get our tacos and everything. We tell them what we wanted and we ordered and all that good stuff. It took them literally, I would say, a good 10 minutes to bring our tacos out. I was already a little iffy about that, but my mom would be like, boy, don't, don't, because she know I can get, she, I can get, <laughs> so, get our tacos, go home, enjoy our tacos, because I mean, they didn't taste too weird, but it just tastes, you know, to me, it just tastes a little off, because I'm used to more so authentic tacos, okay, and it makes a bitch, I <laughs> I didn't make too much of a big deal out of it. I just um, ate my tacos because I was hungry. So the next morning, I mean, it gets to be around probably like 3 o'clock in the morning. You know, my usual wake up time, I'm sitting up at 3 o'clock in the morning every morning. But this time, a particular night, I was actually getting some good sleep. I was getting some well-deserved rest. And um, I just started feeling weird. I was feeling weird, like, like. It just, I don't know, it was it was a weird, at first it wasn't like a nausea feeling, it was more so like, I don't know, I just feel like really wet on the inside, like I was probably coming down with a fever or something like that, and I was just like, what in the world, like why does this keep happening to me? I'm not the person to constantly get sick like that, you know, something like, okay, maybe I'm just not waking up the right way, I don't know, I'm just thinking anything in my head, so by the time... I say about five o'clock rolled around. That's when I started to feel the urge of just. It was just. It was just, it was just like, oh god! I get up. I'm just like, I run to the bathroom. I'm just. I don't mean to be telling y'all all of this, but listen, y'all got to know. So I get up and I run to the bathroom, and I'm just. It's just. It's just. It's just y'all. I'm sorry. I want to get. I, listen. So as everything that I ever knew to exist in the world is coming out of my body, I hear my mom <laughs> go, Bleh. and then next thing you know, it was just like, okay, something is off. I said, we got to go to the ER. We have to go to the emergency room or something. So we went, and we get in there. I mean, it's just everybody just that was in the ER just had face masks on. It was just like, oh, God, oh, God. People were sitting in the in the ER, like, with face masks on and just divided across the room. It was ridiculous. It was crazy. So, of course, me and my mom being the people that we are, we don't want to get it. So she brings the face mask over to us, and we sitting off in the corner 
just waiting and then it's just like it's taking forever and I'm constantly I have to run back and forth to the bathroom back and forth to the bathroom back and forth because I just cannot keep it together I cannot keep it together like I'm just vomiting like crazy um, I think that my situation was a little bit worse than my mom because I probably ate a little bit more than she did I don't know what everybody else's situation was but everybody was just coughing and wheezing and trying to gasp for air and I just was not here for it I was not here for it Oh yeah, but not to try to be cute or anything, but don't nobody got time for that. Like seriously, like this situation, the situation is like a serious matter right now. It's like on CNN <laughs> because it's a serious situation that's happening. So I just wanted to, you know, play my play my cards right and make sure that it wasn't that. If it, if it was that that I was dealing with, you know, just in your mind, you just constantly think of those things, especially when it's just going around. Even though we've already heard what the statistics of that situation is and who it's really affecting. But still, you just never know. You could be that 1%. You never know. Oh, my God. Please just let us get into this ER. Figure out what is going on with us so we can go. So, of course, it took a little bit of time. Felt like hours, but I'm sure it wasn't. It was it was a while, but it wasn't like hours or anything like that. But they get us in there, and I'm just not good with hospitals whatsoever. Like, my anxiety starts to shoot through. I'm like a very big baby when it comes down to getting sick, y'all. Very big baby. I could have a headache and I'd just be, I'd just be like, wah, wah, wah. So me and my mom get to the back end. We go and get blood work and all this stuff done. We just have to go through these procedures because that's what it's called, you know, it's calling for now because you can't just go into hospitals and just get, say that, oh, I'm not feeling well or whatever the case is. Like, oh, I feel like I'm, I have a headache or something. Now they're going to really do a thorough check on you just to see. You know, we have to go through the whole process. So that took about, uh, that quick, took quite some time. I'll say about an hour or so and um you know thankfully it was just food poisoning oh i'm just the whole point of the story y'all is just because i don't understand why i'm being tried in this moment <laughs> knowing the type of person i am i'm such a germaphobe as it is so like i'm just like people are just left and right just doing things just making me just give them the straight side out like i was in walmart the other day for instance and this lady had the freezer door open just in it <coughs> coughing i'm like lady what's going what's wrong with you <laughs> are you dumb like uh i just y'all i just right now it's just not the time to be doing all that nasty stuff just keep that nasty stuff behind closed doors don't bring it out in public but anyway this was my first meal like my first big big meal outside of that y'all this is as much as i can get down um i will be back for the rest of this week it won't be any breaks y'all i promise you we're gonna have some good good stuff i just need to get my appetite back and this was a good start i think so yeah i mean y'all y'all pray for me as i pray for y'all i mean we need each other in this time of need because baby girl okay so, okay so i have a couple of shout outs that i want to give these are obviously from um the week that I was going, <laughs> y'all are going to get me, y'all are going to get me, but it's all good though. I just want to give a shout out to Claudette Hicks, what's up Claudette? And I also want to give a shout out to Evelyn Randolph, who just so happens to be Shawana Shanks' mom. Her birthday was March 4th, happy birthday to ya. Okay, so you guys, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow and for the remainder of this week and all that good stuff. Listen, we're going to have some really, really, really good, good videos because I already got them lined up for you. Trust me. 
I ain't playing no games. But if you're not following me on my Instagram, you can follow me on my social media, underscore FatBellyFella, underscore. Also, TikTok, FatBellyFella. Also, Facebook, FatBellyFella, but those two are not underscore. In the meantime, you know what's about to happen. You know what's about to go down. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, hit that notification bell so you can notify each and every single time your boy upload another video. And don't forget to share, share, share because sharing is caring. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, I will see you guys in the next video. I love us for real. Peace.